Tasha and Patty from Pennsylvania here getting ready for my art in oatmeal. I've been working on Ross Stendhal's challenge to pick a medium and stick with it for three days. So I had this palette of gouache out and since I had some leftover colors, I thought I would use them this morning. Now this is number 10 in my Strathmore 500 series mixed media journals and there are just a couple pages in here that need a finishing touch, and one of them is page number one, which is blank. Well, it's black, but there's nothing on there. This is black gesso that I put on one day. And so this morning during oatmeal, I'm just going to experiment with this wash on this black gesso page. I have no idea how this is going to come so out. So on the first page, what I'm going to try to do with this gouache is just an impressionistic picture of this pitcher plant. It's a bog plant that's sitting on my friend Carol's kitchen table. I took this picture a couple weeks ago when I was over at her house and I thought maybe I would do just an impressionistic picture of the top of the pitcher plant. And let me get started because my oatmeal is now getting cold. Here I am sketching the top of the pitcher plant using a little bit of white and green gouache. I wasn't quite sure how this paint was going to work on the black gesso, so I'm just playing with it. Added a little more white. Do my sketch, doing the bottom of the pitcher plant. Trying to get some of that form in. I usually edit out me eating some of the oatmeal. But while I was watching this, I just noticed something funny that I picked up the spoon and I ate the oatmeal while I still had the brush in my hand. And I really didn't know I did that. So I left that bit in just to kind of laugh at myself. And there I go again, using the brush um, and the spoon in the same hand. Working on some of that pattern on the back of that pitcher plant. That red was a mistake, wasn't supposed to be there yet. Just kind of feeling my way with the paint. Not really sure what I'm doing here, but I picked up some yellow. Kind of makes a, a lighter part at the top. I'm just going to put in um, the green, the white, the yellow. At one point I pick up a little bit of the darker blue. Add a little shadow on what I already had painted. And then I have a, a darker red there to put in some of the veining on the pitcher plant. Again, not trying to be terribly realistic. Just playing with the squash while I'm eating my oatmeal. I really did want to try and get in some lighter spots and some darker spots. Give it a little form. So I added some white to that patch there. Kind of putting choppy brush strokes in. It has a dark vein down the center on the top and one on the bottom. I will work to try to get that part in. There I am eating my oatmeal with my brush in my hand again. And I'm just playing back and forth, back and forth with a darker green, the green mixed with yellow. And adding a little white. I would like the top of the pitcher plant to kind of look like it pokes out a little bit. Now I'm adding some of the red. It's kind of a dark maroony kind of red. Show some of the veining on the top of that pitcher plant. Some of the veins looked green. Some of them looked more reddish. The pattern was quite fascinating. Now putting some yellow in, highlighting some areas. I see me doing this over and over again.
seems like I fuss with the gouache paint a lot. I, I just kind of like to go back and mix one color over another. And I don't know if that's how you're supposed to be painting with gouache. I don't know that much about it. I just kind of like the effect. Putting a little darker color of green under the lip there. Trying to give it some dimension. There's the vein down the center. Same thing on the other side. The inside. Trying to make a little shadow there. I guess the best way to learn how to use a medium is to just keep playing with it. So that's what I'm doing here. Again, not being very precise. I am looking at the picture of the pitcher plant. Just to get the form and a vague idea of the pattern. Having a good time. But I do have to finish eating my oatmeal, so I'm going to be finishing, finishing this up pretty soon. Again, playing with that lip and the patterns and the greens and the yellows and going around back and forth. Once in a while, I have to remember to glance up and look at the picture of the plant because um, I get carried away just adding colors on to actually see what it looks like. I mean, it's a little impressionistic, but I did want it to look something like a pitcher plant. Trying to make some areas a little darker and some a little lighter. Give it some contrast. I added a little blue in there. A little more white for a highlight on the lip. The picture. Decided to put in some more of that veining at the top, which is kind of fun to do. Having this black gesso on the page gives me an excuse to use my Sakura Souffle pens. These colors are wonderful. When you first put them down on the page, they're not so bright, but when they dry, they're really great. So I'm going to write just Well, the first color that I picked out was the yellow, and the yellow pen seemed a little dry. So during this first line, I'm writing art and oatmeal. I seem to be struggling a little bit. Usually the pens are much easier to use. Um, than what it looks like here. Colors aren't showing up that well on the video, but that first line is supposed to be yellow. And then I switch to a pink pen. It's a light pink pen. And I'm writing hashtag 30 pages, 30 days. This pen went on a little smoother. It's hard to see, but as the letters dry, um, they'll show up some more. And then I pick up the light green, the mint green, and just write page 14, March 14. This one went on really smoothly. And then I believe I dashed off into the other room, pick up my Lamy pen and started writing around the page in black. It says gouache on black gesso. Pick a medium and use it for three days. That's Roz, this challenge. And I wrote down, this was Carol's pitcher plant and actually day four of using the gouache. Then I put down a reminder to myself, should do more before the paint dries. And it fit around the page and that was all I had the room for. I was happy to get this page in this number 10 journal done. I believe I think I have two pages in here that are started and not finished, so I may finish those up pretty soon because I'd like to do my art journal flip. 
of this uh, number 10, Strathmore 500 series, mixed media journal. And that's about it for this morning. Thanks for watching.